everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl jessica charms and i know the lighting sucks <laughs> um so here's the deal notice how i'm standing against the dirty backdrop that you've all complained about and i'm still working towards fixing lay off anyway i have something cool to do today a Clothing, try on, haul, video. Now, why am I doing one of these with t-shirts and I'm wearing a t-shirt? Well, the wonderful people over on YouTube, if I were to just be, quote, like this for the entire video, would immediately demonetize my channel and probably blacklist me or ban me. And since I like this channel and I like spending time with all of you, not to mention the fact that I like spending time with all of you, I don't want to run that risk. So I will be keeping this t-shirt on the entire time underneath said shirts because I was too lazy to stick these in my bra to cover up my nipples. The fake ones on my forearms that stick out. I was just lazy. Nobody has a problem with them work. Why does YouTube? How the hell should I know? But anyway, let's get things started because I want to show you guys some cool shirts. And I might just decide to take this off in between, but for now, this is the shirt that I'm wearing. And I've worn this a couple times. It's a loose t-shirt. I got this in the clearance section at Walmart for a buck, a buck, a literal dollar. I have a bunch of white ones that I want to tie dye. In fact, I actually have stuff. Where did I put it? Oh, it's, that's right. I moved it. Yep, I moved it over to there behind this. Okay. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay. But I did get some stuff at Walmart to tie dye those shirts. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Why? Life. Um, anyway, let's go on with the first outfit. So without any further ado, allow me to show you a shirt that I love so much. Well, get ready. Ta-da! First shirt. I actually picked this up when I used to work at Five Below. It was one of the shirts that we had sold, and honestly, I fell in love with it. You thought I, you thought I was normal. That's on you. I actually fell in love with the shirt. I actually had wanted to wear it for a stream. Well, not even really a stream, just a video that I was doing back with my old channel, Web Center 18. But I never got around to doing it. Why? I don't remember. I honestly don't. And this shirt spent the longest amount of time in my mom's room in storage with her other shirts. So it's got to get washed, unfortunately, because it's kind of smells of that. We're in this like little area thing, but at least I got most of my shirts back. Some of the good ones. But this is one you guys are going to be seeing more of in my streams because I like this shirt a lot. You thought I was normal? Yeah, that's on you. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It is very breathable. This is a 3X, by the way. And it fits my boobs. <laughs> like, it fits my boobs beautifully. It is comfortable with my X cups on. Which, as I was telling my friend, this is a sign that I should just go for the 8,000 CC goal and not 6. Because... Well, come on, honey, hush. I'm killing it. <laughs> <coughs> but, yeah, it's actually one of my favorite shirts. Um, I'm so happy I found it again, but it doesn't pale in comparison to another shirt that I have. I can't wait for you guys to see this one. Next. Bright yellow! My favorite color of all time. 
combined with my boobs. I just kind of have that mom vibe. Like I am the mom that hangs out at like the weird ass sporting events or the one that you see hanging around the mall that's trying to act over or younger than her age. But I love this shirt and fun story with this shirt. So back when I was still Andrew, um, my mom and I broke down the side of the road and we called uh, roadside service. They could not find us. Now I'm standing out the side of the road wearing this bright ass shirt in the middle of the day, sunny day, no clouds, no overcast, no eclipse, sunny as all hell, brightly blinding passerbys and they couldn't find us. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's what happened. But I do love the shirt. Another 3X, very comfortable, very breathable, very, very wonderfully done. And it's pretty yellow. I love this shirt. I really do. And I can't wait to wear more of it because I'm back, baby. I love this shirt. Plus, with summertime coming, this will be very useful in reflecting the heat. And because it's yellow, I can actually wear this to work. Because it is a solid color. There's no prints or anything on it. So I could actually wear the shirt to work in the summertime. Which would be very nice. Uh, especially if I put like a looser shirt on underneath it. I could get away with wearing this to work. And in all honesty, I think I probably will. Because I love this shirt. It fits me so well. But on to the next one. My next shirt is Pikachu. Now, I'm actually kind of bummed that it isn't bright ass yellow like this one. Because I thought that I, that would have worked out so much better for this. While I could tie dye it and dye it yellow, it's not going to get this bright. And I feel like this is the brightness that I would love it to have. But I'm content with it being a white shirt. Um, so this shirt I actually did get while I worked the Five Below again. Because... We had just gotten a bunch of them in that morning. This was the only 3X that was in the bunch. And I fell in love with it instantly from the design. Come on, it's Pikachu, for God's sake. I love Pikachu. I have, like, a crap ton of Pikachu stuff. My friend Jill got me uh, the entire Pikachu holiday collection for Christmas. Uh, <laughs> little figures. So, I fell in love with the shirt. Uh, I actually bought this the Friday before the pandemic shut everything down. So that would have been on March 13th. That was the last day that I actually worked. And I remember asking um, the guy that was there that was the going to be the opening manager for the day, are you putting a drawer in before I leave? And he goes, you want to buy that shirt? I said, oh yeah, I want to buy the shirt. <laughs> Uh, I was five bucks at the time and I fell in love with it. They do not have this shirt anymore. I know that for a fact, but I have owned this shirt since 2020. I love the hell out of this shirt and the fact that my boobs fit in it and I look so good in it. I'm never ever going to part with it again. This shirt and I are going to be with each other till it gets holes in it, wears out and falls apart. And at that point, I'm just going to cut the design off and put it in a frame. Legit, that's, that's the last idea I'm going to have for is that if they get like holes in the pockets or holes under the arms and stuff, I'm just going to cut the design right out, stick its ass in a frame, and keep it for eternity. <laughs> but this is actually a really good shirt. It is breathable. Again, 3X, very comfortable. But not as comfortable as this next shirt. Because this next shirt is one of my favorites. <laughs> So I have one Minion shirt in my entire wardrobe. One singular Uno Minion shirt. And it is this one. Um, so my mom and I actually got this. We were walking around Kmart long before they closed up. And they had it there. This is the only 4X that they had. And we bought it. It was cheaper than we thought it was going to be. We didn't want to go back and get another one. Um, like get like a 3X. But we got the 4X. I fell in love with it. 
Uh, as you can see, it fits the girls so beautifully. It really does. And it definitely is a good advertiser um, for all the things that I do wrong. Because if you can't read it, flip the screen. It says everything great or every great idea I have gets me into trouble. Um, really fun thing is that, and if I remember to do the editing correctly, uh, you should see a picture of it. Um, that's a hint for you, future Jessica. Uh, when you're editing this, make sure you put that picture in. I know it's out there. I have like four of them of me very heavier, um, in this shirt. The first time I ever wore it. Now, yes, the shirt is obviously wearing out a little bit. You can tell here with the lettering and things like that, that it is starting to wear out. But to be fair, I have had this shirt for many, many years. And I am just so happy it is back in my possession again. It's gonna wear out sadly, but I love it nonetheless. And I plan to keep it for eternity and a half. But um, yeah. <laughs> but the next shirt is a lot more fun. That's right, the infamous Ireland shirt. <laughs> now, uh, for those of you that don't know the story behind this shirt, um, so this is actually the second one that I bought. Why did I buy two? Well, originally I had bought it for a friend of mine because I knew she, I thought she might get a kick out of this and I was more than willing to send it to her. Um, she goes, she doesn't really know when she's gonna wear it. She didn't really get to celebrate um, St. Patrick's Day anyway. So that kind of sucks. Sorry for that. And I do apologize to her. You know, her health got bad, but she's better, which is a good thing. But I bought a second shirt in case she would change her mind because I fell in love with it and I couldn't part with the first one. So I went back the next day and legit bought another one. And well, I have two. So if she wants to spare one here, she's more than welcome to it. And because she has big boobs like I do with my forms on, uh, it, well, this will definitely fit her. Um, she has nowhere, no um, qualms about that at all, I guarantee you. But what's really cool about this shirt, it looks like it's more of like a rock band shirt. Like this is something you'd see like a rock, like a rock group, like Ireland, the rock group. So it's really cool. But I did buy a second one of these, which is this one here. Uh, because my main one is in my dresser and I didn't feel like taking it out. And the other one was right up here. So I could just pull it right down. Um, but yeah, but I have to admit, I do like this shirt. And I'm so glad I decided to keep the first one. And I went back to get a second one just in case she changed her mind. And uh, if she watches the video and you still want it, you know how to get a hold of me. We talk on Twitter almost every day. Well, every couple days. But you know how to get a hold of me. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. So this is the next shirt that I have. It's actually more of like a sweater, I guess you could call it in a way. Um, but this is one of my fairly newer ones. So this one wasn't in my mom's uh, storage of clothing or sitting up top here like the Ireland, like the spare Ireland shirt or, well, you know, just hanging around. Um, no, I actually did buy this recently at Walmart in their clearance section for a whopping five bucks. <laughs> Really cool. Now, why it stuck out to me and why I wanted it, if anybody out there has ever seen Doctor Who, and you're gonna pretty much figure out exactly what I'm going for right about here, what was the last outfit that Clara wore? That sweater top that had a little bit of a, like a ruffle popping out of it, where she's like, let me be brave as she faced the raven as it went inside of her and killed her. Well, I thought about that when I saw this. And I'm like, I always like a sweater. I like a nice, comfortable sweater. It is a 3X. Um, I did get a 2X version, which was a bit snug in the chest here. But to be fair, it's still wearable. It's just a little snug because of the how the waistband down here is. Because if you can't tell without me uh, going too far uh, weird well, weird wise, it is sewn into the bottom of the sweater. So, yeah, that's uh, 
apparently a thing, but it's very comfortable. I did wear it to work today. It is extremely warm, so this is definitely a fall, winter, start of spring type of shirt to wear. So this is a top that you definitely are wearing like fall, winter for sure, maybe the start of spring, but you are not touching this baby come summertime. Uh-uh, you're not touching this at all. But, I mean, it's not a bad outfit. It does work with a lot of stuff. I wore it with my jeans today. Um, this would definitely work and pair well with a good skirt, which I do have a denim skirt here. So it could pair well with that. It's just mostly a mix and match, pick your poison sort of deal. But, like I said, very comfortable, very warm, but not as cool. Warm or amazing as the last and final outfit that I have. The top that I was so shocked that I found and that created the idea for this entire video. Ladies and gentlemen, the last shirt I ever got when I worked retail at a store that I worked for five and a half years. I present to you the last shirt I ever got when I worked at Five Below. And because my old supervisor and I are actually still friends, and we do talk, because honestly, she is a wealth of knowledge and somebody that I can actually bounce thoughts off of, which I did Sunday. And when I came across this shirt, I'm like, oh, I got to see if this fits. Same size boobs. And as you can tell, oh, yes, it fits like a glove. <laughs> I actually made the comment to her that if I was still a member of the store or the company, I would definitely be putting the wow and wow crew. Because <laughs> that was literally what they were calling our sorry butts. The wow crew. We were supposed to wow the customers. Um, it's actually a baseball tee. It has a uh, let go have fun on the back. And obviously five below right on the front. Now, one of the reasons I kind of like this shirt and why I'm going to keep this shirt one, this can pretty much be taken off. There are ways to do that without damaging the fabric or fucking the shirt to hell. And if I do that, I kind of have what is essentially sort of a, well, makeshift shirt. Though if I can find something similar to it, I would love to put my own design on the front of it. But the shirt itself is very comfortable. Now, I could just flip it inside out. But... I hate doing that with shirts like this because you can see the seam here. It's more prevalent on the inside. I don't know if I can get a really good shot of that, but yeah, you can kind of see it there. So it's kind of more annoying to do that. So obviously I can't just flip it inside out because I'll look like, well, it's just flipped it inside out. It looks ugly. Um, I could just slowly try to get rid of this, but in all fairness, if I'm wearing this at home, ain't nobody going to be seeing me and question if I work there. One. Two. If I can get this part to go away, I will have a very comfortable, very breathable um, baseball t-shirt, which I would love to find another similar design of. And I'm actually going to say a thing to my friend about it tomorrow when I send her a, or well, maybe tomorrow the next time I talk with her. Um, to go, you help me find some of these very comfortable t-shirts like that I took the picture of, and I'll be more than happy to uh, foot the bill for a heat stamp, and we start making some t-shirts as like a side hustle for you. She wants to do like some yard sale stuff and flea market stuff. Hey, we'll make our own freaking t-shirts. We can get a whole buttload of these cheap. We'll do it. I'm all for it because this shirt is very comfortable. It breathes very well. It's very, very roomy under the arms, which is so good. And remember back when I was wore this, it was like twice. I only ever wore this shirt twice. I mostly wore the black one that I got when I first started. Well, let me phrase that. The next size up. I only got a 2X when I first started and I desperately needed a 3. So I got that one. <laughs> I got that one then. But when it comes to this one, it's nice. I like it. I like the design of it. I like the feel. 
It is so much airy, so much breathable. It's roomy as hell under the arms. Just so good. If this would be gone, I don't care if the have let go have funds on the back. I don't give two shits about that. Um, it's this part right here that makes it so that I really can't wear it anywhere else but home. Um, if this part were to like you know uh, be eroded away, I would be more than happy. Um, so yeah, I am gonna look into doing that because I like the shirt too much. It's very comfortable. It's very breathable, and I could see myself wearing this during the summertime, <laughs> legit, without this stupid thing, without this saying, without the saying on the back either, I could wear this to work, because it would be a clear-cut shirt. Um, no design, no template, just, you know, oh, it's just a t-shirt. But, because of the wording on the back, and obviously this right off, here, right in your face. I used to work here. <laughs> um, it would be impossible for me to really wear this anywhere else but home right now. So definitely going to work on eroding that. But I am for sure going to be looking around for um, shirts like this. Minus the obvious logo. Because this is a very breathable shirt. And I could definitely see myself getting a 3 or 4X in this. And wearing it all over the place. Because this thing is breathable as fuck. It is so nice. It is so comfortable. I just... I, I won't deny. When they came up with this design for the company. This one was a winner. It beat the black shirt. That was extremely encumbersome. It was heavy. It just was ungodly uncomfortable. And I wore that damn thing for five and a half years. Uh, this was the last one that we got. I got one. I think I wore it twice. And that was it. Uh, I think I've worn it more. <laughs> I think I, I slipped this on like three times since yesterday. This is time number three. So I've officially worn this more now um, as Jessica than I ever did as Andrew. So that is telling you something. But anyway, what'd you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see other videos like this. I have skirts. I have some dresses. I have some other tops that I could put on. And I do have the infamous bra haul I could do. Provided that YouTube's cool with seeing um, different size boobs and bras. Because they're not all universal. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Jessica Charms. And I will see you all in the next video. Hi.